Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, carbohydrates. Part 2. Understanding cyclic structure of monosaccharides. Most monosaccharides with 5 or more carbon atoms have cyclic structure. To understand the cyclic structure of monosaccharides, it is necessary to study the reaction of monosaccharides with alcohols. Reaction of aldo and keto sugars is explained with reaction shown below. Aldose sugar and ketose sugar, when reacts with alcohol, produces a molecule named hemiacetal and hemiketal respectively. This hemiacetal and hemiketal respectively can further react with alcohol and produce acetal and ketal. Now let us, understand how monosaccharides having 5 or 6 carbons, exists in cyclic structures. Fischer projections ignore to represent the ability of monosaccharides to form cyclic structures with formation of an additional asymmetric center. Alcohols react readily with aldehydes to form hemiacetals. The British carbohydrate chemist Sir Norman Hayworth showed that the linear form of glucose, and other aldohexoses, could undergo a similar intramolecular reaction to form a cyclic hemiacetal. The resulting six-membered, oxygen-containing ring is similar to pyrin and is designated a pyranose. Now let me show you cyclic structure of glucose and the process of cyclization of glucose. Cyclization of glucose produce two additional isomers. The image describes the cyclization of glucose, here the oxygen of alcohol group on C5 position of glucose, that is the fifth carbon of glucose molecule reacts to the carbon C1, by nucleophilic attack. The description of this nucleophilic attack is shown in the image which causes the cyclization of glucose. On cyclization two products are formed, alpha glucopyranose and, beta glucopyranose Glucopyranose is a six-membered ring containing oxygen, this six-membered ring is known as pyrin ring, and so the naming of cyclic structure of glucose that is glucopyranose, is derived from the word pyrin. The image on the right is the representation of alpha glucopyranose and beta glucopyranose in linear fashion is shown using Fischer formula. Whereas, the representation of alpha glucopyranose and beta glucopyranose in cyclic fashion is shown using Howarth formula. Similarly for ketone monosaccharides. Ketose monosaccharides, containing 5 and 6 carbon atoms, can react with alcohols to form hemiketals. The analogous intramolecular reaction of a ketose sugar such as fructose yields a cyclic hemiketal. The five-membered ring thus formed is reminiscent of furan and is referred to as a furanose. The cyclic pyranose and furanose forms are the preferred structures for monosaccharides in aqueous solution. Isomers of monosaccharides that differ only in their configuration about that carbon atom are called enomers, the carbonyl carbon is thus called the enomeric carbon. Now let me show you cyclic structure of fructose and the process of cyclization of fructose. Cyclization of fructose produce two additional isomers. The image describes the cyclization of fructose, here the oxygen of alcohol group on C5 position of fructose, that is the fifth carbon of fructose molecule reacts to the carbon C2, by nucleophilic attack. The description of this nucleophilic attack is shown in the image which causes the cyclization of fructose. On cyclization two products are formed, alpha defructofuranose and beta defructofuranose. Fructofuranose is a five-membered ring containing oxygen, this five-membered ring is known as furan ring, and so the naming of cyclic structure of fructose that is fructofuranose, is derived from the word furan. The image on the right is the representation of alpha defructofuranose, and, beta defructofuranose in linear fashion is shown using Fischer formula. Whereas, the representation of alpha defructofuranose, and, beta defructofuranose in cyclic fashion is shown using Howarth formula. Now I will show you some facts regarding cyclic monosaccharides. The image of alpha glucopyranose and beta glucopyranose is shown on the left. Whereas, image of alpha defructofuranose and beta defructofuranose is shown on the right. 
for alpha deglucopyranose and beta deglucopyranose carbon C1 that is the first carbon is called the anomeric carbon. On the contrary, for alpha defructofuranose and beta defructofuranose carbon C2 that is the second carbon is called the anomeric carbon. Alpha and beta forms of same sugar are called anomers, for glucopyranose, carbon C1, can show two different orientations of H and OH groups. For fructofuranose, carbon C2, can show two different orientations of CH2OH and OH groups, so alpha defructofuranose and beta defructofuranose are anomers of one another. The cyclic form, alpha deglucopyranose and beta deglucopyranose are the hemiacetal form. In same way, cyclic form, alpha defructofuranose and beta defructofuranose are the hemiketal forms. Now, let me show you the conformational formulas of pyranoses, which is shown in the image. Although Hayworth projections are convenient for display of monosaccharide structures, they do not accurately portray the conformations of pyranose and furanose rings. Given CCC tetrahedral bond angles of 109 degrees and COC angles of 111 degrees, neither pyranose nor furanose rings can adopt true planar structures. Instead, they take on puckered conformations, and in the case of pyranose rings, the two favored structures are the chair conformation and the boat conformation. Description of the figure previously shown is given here. Figure A shows two chair forms of the pyranose ring. Substituents on the ring carbons may be either axial projecting parallel to the vertical axis through the ring, or equatorial, projecting roughly perpendicular to this axis. Two conformers such are these are not readily interconvertible without breaking the ring. However, when the molecule is stretched, by atomic force microscopy, an input of about 46 kJ of energy per mole of sugar can force the interconversion of chair forms. Bulky groups in the equatorial positions are less sterically hindered by neighboring substituents, and conformers with bulky substituents in equatorial positions are favored. Figure B shows a chair conformation of alpha deglucopyranose. Briefly, conformers of glucose is described by the image. The image shows that bulky groups like O and CH2OH are more favored to occupy equatorial position, whereas non-bulky protons can occupy axial position with minimal torsional strain. The second mate shows the chair conformer of glucose, where bulky groups O and CH2OH has occupied equatorial position, whereas non-bulky protons can occupy axial position. Also, same molecule glucopyranose can be present in two different chair conformers but these conformers are non-conversible, without breaking the ring structure. References used to prepare this video are shown here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.